Westlove MMA fans and BKFC 6 fans. I'm with Anthony Johnson today. Anthony, tomorrow night's the big fight. What are your predictions over who's going to win, Artem or Pauly? I don't know, honestly. Um, both of them have a great chance of winning. Artem is just so tough, in my opinion. You know, Pauly's, Pauly's been in there with the best. He's been off a little bit, you know, been chilling, doing his commentating thing. But Artem has been busy, so I kind of give Artem the, the edge just because he's been busy. That, that's it. There are so many great fights on the card. What are some of the other matchups that you're looking forward to uh, seeing tomorrow evening? Um, really, all of them. Chris Lieben, I'm, I'm a fan of his. You know what I mean? He's fighting, uh, I'm not sure the guy's name. Because uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a last minute. Dakota Cochran. I, I don't know him. You know, he's a last minute replacement. So, um, but that's, Chris always brings it. He always brings it. And uh, from what I heard, Dakota is a, is a very tough fighter, too, honestly. Um, what's his name? Johnny Bedford or whatever, and uh, Reggie. Reg, what's his name? Reggie Barnett, baby. Reggie Barnett. I'm terrible at names, everybody. Forgive me. But he's so handsome. We're going to let it go because he's so terrible at names. <laughs> <laughs> and he makes us look so damn good. We're going to let that go. Yes, yes. Um, but I, now that fight right there, I think that's going to be the one, you know, that's really going to. To me, skill wise, that, that, that may outshine Paulie and, and Artem. I think so. You know, yesterday we were at the triads, which is really exciting because Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship is looking for the next big superstar. And you were there, and they chose two winners. Were you impressed with the level of talent that you saw at the triads yesterday, Anthony? I was impressed with it, but they were boxers that didn't want to fight. I didn't, I didn't get it. You know, it had some guys in there that had really nice hands on them. And I was like, all right, yo, let's pick that guy. And then when we asked them for if they wanted the opportunity, I was like, mm -hmm. We don't want that. We don't want somebody who's going to shrug their shoulders and not not give a you know a damn about really fighting. I'm like, what what what, what are you wasting our time for then? So, uh, but we picked two guys, and the two guys we picked were absolutely amazing, and um, I'm looking forward to to them displaying their their skills. Anthony, as a UFC vet, as an MMA fighter, what do you think the big appeal is for a bare knuckle? Uh, um, this is just a different breed of athletes right here. Uh, it's, it's, you know, in boxing and, and in um, MMA, we're pretty protected. You know, we got the padding on our hands and all of that stuff. But these guys are just hardcore. I'm going to punch you in your mouth. If I break my hand, I'm going to just keep punching until I can't fight anymore. And it's all bone on bone. And that's crazy to me. People have asking, are asking me if I'll fight bare knuckle. I'm like, I, I walked into the sport unmarked. I'm trying to leave unmarked. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't know. If the price is right, once again, I would do it. You know what I mean? But I don't think the price is going to be right for Bare Knuckle. <laughs> well, I know the fans would love to see you fight Bare Knuckle. You've got to let me know about that first, by the way, because we're will. buddies. Oh, you only got to get that scoop to me. I only to you. me. I got you. Before we go to Anthony, is there anything else you'd like to add, sir? Um, whatever you want to ask. You know me. I'm, I'm, I'm the go with the flow type. Whatever you want to ask, I'll answer it. What else you got coming up going on for yourself, um, sir? Oh, I'm grappling now. I'm doing su and with, uh, submission on the ground with Chell on Fight Pass, July 7th. Everybody knows I'm not a grappler or the best grappler for sure. But that's because when I'm fighting, I'm trying to fight. I'm not trying to roll around and grapple. But if I'm supposed to grapple and do all of that stuff, I'll do it. You know what I mean? I want to give the fans what they wanted to see. And that was a fight, not a, you know, grappling match. <laughs> It's also too bad because I feel like in fighting, when people see people go to the ground, when they go grapple, people who don't understand the sport, they boo. And grappling is a very, it's a very difficult sport. BJJ, anything on the ground is very difficult. Also, too, I want to give a shout out to Chael. We're going to miss you, buddy. Yeah. For the memories, thanks a lot. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank, thank you for showing us the, the great sportsmanship you've always shown throughout the years. And, you know, what they call him, the, the bad guy or whatever. The bad boy. The, the bad, guy, bad guy. Bad guy or whatever. Chell, you are absolutely amazing, man. Thank you. <laughs>